And the mother picks up her phone, makes a call, then hangs up and just stares at them smirking, as they put it. Fifteen minutes later, two police officers show up, guns drawn, and make them put their hands up. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the latest news stories and social issues that are making waves. Today, we have an intriguing topic to discuss. The controversial incident involving a so-called white savior and a woman who allegedly called the police on a couple for kissing in front of children at a mini golf course. Stay tuned to hear all the details and join the conversation. So, let's start by setting the stage. In a quiet town, a mini golf course became the center of attention when a woman, whom social media users have referred to as Mini Golf Karen, allegedly called the police on a couple for kissing in public. Now, what made this incident even more complex was the involvement of someone many have dubbed the White Savior, a person who took it upon themselves to expose the woman's personal information online, also known as doxing. This video is for the woman who made the Reddit post I'm about to show you. I need everyone to spread this so that hopefully she can see this and contact me because I would like to help you and your girlfriend. So, somewhere near Houston, this woman and her girlfriend are playing mini-golf. Her girlfriend is black. I get the impression she is not from the way that she talks about that. But they're playing mini-golf together, and at one point they kiss, as couples are known to do. That's when a mother behind them got disgusted and said, What if my kids see? You should be ashamed. In response, I kissed my girlfriend a minute later as her daughter was putting. We're both so fed up with the homophobia that we have a lot of anger built up and wanted to get back at her. Not like we did anything wrong, though. At that point, the woman, the mother, picks up her phone, makes a call, then hangs up and just stares at them smirking, as they put it. Fifteen minutes later, two police officers show up, guns drawn, and make them put their hands up. They put them both in handcuffs. She's telling officers, we haven't done anything wrong, and the police officer tells her to shut the fuck up. Then, she says, we haven't broken the law, and the officer replies, sexual harassment of a minor is a felony. Charging them with sexual harassment of a minor for kissing. They then parade them out of the golf course and take them to the station and put them in holding cells for several hours before finally releasing them. It was rough on both of them, but especially her girlfriend who was black, who said, I thought my life was over, that I'd never see my friends and family again, that I'd never feel fresh air in my lungs. It was like I was dying while I was still alive. It is 2023, and these two women were arrested for kissing. Now, they did post an update that the golf course was very cooperative and super upset about what happened to them and gave them footage that shows the woman making the call, smirking, and the police arriving. Then they also found the woman's social media. And guess what? The two officers are friends of hers. They're commenting all over her stuff going back years. She didn't call 911. She called them. And they came and did that. So to the young ladies involved, I would like to help you. I'd be happy to do a video where I put all of these people on blast. I don't have to use your names or show your faces. That can stay out of it. But even if you're not comfortable with that, contact me and I will gladly just help you get attorneys. If you're still facing charges, let's get you an attorney for that. And let's get you an attorney to go after the fact that your civil rights were violated and that you were discriminated against. Send me a message on Instagram or on Twitter. Uh, I, I'm probably more likely to get it and see it on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, just set one up. Set one up just for this and message me. I will keep you completely anonymous. But what happened to you is horrific. It's not okay. And I would like to help in some small way. Witnesses claim that the couple, who identified as transbians, were simply sharing a loving moment, like any other couple would. However, mini golf Karen apparently uncomfortable with their public display of affection, decided to involve the authorities. This sparked a heated debate about LGBTQ plus rights, freedom of expression, and the appropriate response to such situations. Here's where things take a turn. A self-proclaimed activist, who saw the incident unfold, took it upon themselves to publicly shame mini-golf Karen. They allegedly found personal information about her online, including her name, address, and workplace, and proceeded to expose it on social media. This act of doxing, while intended to hold mini golf Karen accountable, raises serious ethical questions. As expected, this incident quickly went viral, drawing attention from people all around the world. While some praised the white savior's actions, claiming they were fighting for justice, 
others strongly condemned the act of doxing, emphasizing the importance of handling conflicts in a more constructive and ethical manner. The incident sparked debates about vigilante justice, privacy rights, and the responsibility of online activists. Now, it's time to open up the discussion. What are your thoughts on this incident? Do you think Minnie Golf Karen was justified in calling the police, or do you believe she overreacted? And what about the white savior's decision to dox her? Was it an effective way to hold her accountable, or did it cross a line? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. Thank you all for watching today's video. Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest news and discussions. We encourage respectful and constructive conversations in the comments section, so please share your thoughts. Until next time, take care and stay informed.